Here to get us primed for the playoff push is the voice of the Jays, Buck Martinez. So good to see you. Good morning. You. Good morning. Welcome good morning. to Sportsnet. I feel like Hazel right now. No, this is so it's cool. very good to see you again. <laughs> it's so good to see you too. Okay, let us begin with where we are at this time. Last year was very different. We were just hitting our stride, and we thought, my gosh, let's go behind this team. They've actually got it together. They're actually placing better now than they were last year. Does this is this a good thing? Yes, it's a very good thing, and I think right now the way they're playing the the pitch. Pitching has been so good all season long that the Blue Jays have the lead in the East, and everybody is kind of in a however mentality. Well, they're in first place, however, it doesn't quite feel as dominant as it was last year. The bats don't seem as hot. Right, the bats aren't as hot. We we don't have Pilar, but he's supposed to come back on Tuesday. Bautista's probably going to come back toward the end of the week, so we get those two regulars back. Donaldson and Tulowitzki missed time in Cleveland, but they're both back now playing, so we need the entire team together to take advantage of this great pitching. Let's talk about the strategy behind Aaron Sanchez. A lot of people are worried. They were saying, you know, why did he, we send him to Dunedin for 10 days? And there is a strategy and a reason behind it. That's a yeah, good there sure is. Aaron has been so good this season, and arguably uh, he's been one of the better pitchers in baseball. But he's a young pitcher who has surpassed his innings limit, and they want to make sure he's going to be okay if the Blue Jays get to the postseason. And that's the plan. I spoke to Aaron last night as we got into town. He says, you know, he said, this is the best thing for me. This is the best thing for the team. I want to keep pitching. I want to keep starting. And I want to pitch in the playoffs. So he understands the motivation. Overall, he'll probably only be down in Florida for three or four days. He's not going to pitch any games. He's going to work out, stay sharp, and make sure that when he comes back, he's refreshed. He will pitch again in Baltimore on the 31st of August. So he's going to be in line for the three best starters for that very vital series against the Royals. Because let's remember, these are not robots. There are <laughs> working parts that wear down. Yes, he's young, and yes, he's stronger than ever, but it takes a toll on the shoulder. Yeah, it sure does. And, and Aaron's didn't, done a great job. He and Marcus Stroman worked out all winter long to get in great shape for this season, and Aaron wanted to be a starter. He has, in my mind, been a starter throughout his career. When I see Aaron, I think that's a prototypical starter's body. You want him healthy. You want him pitching in the biggest games of the season, and he's going to be primed and ready when he comes back on August 31st. And you have to know when to hold him. You have to know when to fold him. <laughs> That should be a song, Buck. That should be a song. I think, uh, yeah, you should talk about that. What does it or what will it take to get us through to the end this time and celebrate like we did in 92 and 93? Do we have, does the team have what it takes? Do we need to build up that momentum again now going into the stretch? I, I think the team has what it takes now because they have starting pitching. If, if you have Hap throwing it well, as well as he is, Russell is hot right now, and, and we need his bat. He's been big on this recent hot stretch, hitting six home runs in seven games. And, and I think with Russell and Tulo hitting the ball very well, it's, it's a time where Russell understands the postseason probably better than anybody on the Blue Jays because he's been to the postseason so frequently. So when we can get him hot and then with Melvin Upton starting to swing the bat well, he homered three times on the recent road trip. So it's been a, a great surge, and Upton's done a nice job filling in for Kevin Pillar and then of course Edwin has been terrific this home run he hit he hit a mile up into the bleachers and he hit it right to some Blue Jay fans <laughs> you see that's the thing because we are rabid fans and I love that the fever has been building right so do you think we're seen as a real threat to the other teams because of course last year there was a conspiracy theories on some of the calls where people are saying they don't want the Jays to go to the end because we're not good business now, you know what? The Blue Jays fans deserve a lot of credit because they travel better than anybody in baseball. And over the weekend in Cleveland, uh, you could hardly tell who was the home team. There were so many Blue Jays fans in the stands for the three-game series. And, you know, Osuna's done a terrific job. Tulowitzki, of course, is healthy again. But I think the Blue Jays are primed and ready because they have starting pitching. And that's what wins in the postseason. You have Sanchez and Stroman and Happ and Estrada and Dickey. The Blue Jays, in my mind, have the best pitching in the American League. And I don't think they're getting the credit for how well they've pitched. Solid team. I don't think your hair also doesn't get enough credit. <laughs> we were talking about you behind your back on Friday, saying, did you ever consider dyeing those roots? And apparently they have some Monday makeover pictures for you to just perhaps oh, consider really? for the future. Okay. So if you guys can quickly show 
um, Buck Martinez, what he would look like as a as a ginger. Oh, no, I don't right? think that works. I don't know about that. That doesn't work Let's at see all. If you, no. What do you think no. it is? Embracing a little uh, salt and pepper. No, I don't think so. I'm not good with that. <laughs> oh, brunette. Well. <laughs> brunette Buck Martinez. Now, it used to be very, very dark until I managed and then turned <gasps> white overnight. <laughs> blue Jays Blue. A uh, Blue Jays Blue for the pennant stretch. The kids are doing it. Everybody pays attention to my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring like the Blue Jays blue fade. I think like I kind of like it the way it is. Hashtag hombre hombre? No, I don't think so. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> you, you look fabulous. Thank always. you very much. Thank you so much.